experiment to determine the wavelength of laser using grating. The apparatus required is the optical bench, laser source, diffraction grating and a optical screen. We will use a graph paper for measurement instead of an optical screen. Replace all the three apparatus that is the laser source, grating and the screen on the optical bench. We adjust the height such that the pattern is visible in the screen. We also correct the position of the grating by rotation, rotating it so that the pattern that is visible is horizontal in the screen. When we observe the pattern that is formed in the optical screen, we can see there is a bright central maxima that is a bright spot in the center. Then two nearby bright spots are known as the first order maxima and the other the other one further away from is known as the second order maxima. To calculate the value of lambda, which is the requirement, we have used the formula sin theta equal to nm lambda where theta is the angle of diffraction, theta 1 is as shown, theta 1 is the angle of diffraction for the first order and theta 2 is the angle of diffraction for the second order. n is the number of lines per grating and I mean where n is provided in our grating plate which is 15,000 lines per inch. So we should take care of converting the inch into centimeter as all the other measurements are done in centimeter. M is the order of the diffraction pattern where M equal to 1 is for the first order and 2 is for the second order as, it, as seen in the table. First we do the experiment for first order. We calculate the value of small d where d is the spacing between the maxima, so the first order maxima and the central maxima and capital D is the separation between the optical screen and the grating. For measurement purpose, we place the screen let us say at 60 and move the grating to 45. We can see that the first order maxima is visible along with the central maxima. When we move the grating towards the screen or away from the screen, we can see that the spacing between the maximas are changing. So for calculation purpose, we use different positions of the grating to calculate the spacing between the maximas. We do this experiment first for the first order diffraction pattern and later we repeat the experiment for all for the second order diffraction pattern. As you can see from the table, we can calculate the value of theta. Now we can use the formula that was provided that is sin theta equal to nm lambda from where we can calculate the lambda using the value of sin theta as from the table. Next we can calculate the, also calculate the spacing between the lines in the grating which is given by the formula a equal to m lambda by sin theta. As we can see that m lambda and sin theta are already calculated in our previous experiment which we had done for the first order and second order grating. So we can use the value and calculate the value of a. Finally to calculate the percentage error we use the formula as shown. Here we use the theoretical value which is provided in our setup that is a laser dyed module has a wavelength of 6 feet to nanometer and for experimental value we use the average of all the lambdas that you have calculated for different position of the grating and optical screen and use the average value for calculating the percentage error. The precautions that should be taken while doing the experiment is, is that the least count of all the measuring scales that is the meter scale used and the optical bench should be calculated. Also while operating the laser source a constant preventive valve should be applied using a stabilizer and also you should not look directly into the laser as it might damage your eyes.